Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a November Shop My Stash. If you guys have not seen my October one, I will link it down below. Um, I did put everything back that I did take out for the month of October. We were kind of gravitating towards the um, towards the fall season. But now that it's getting a little bit colder, I kind of want to go more neutral this month. So first things first, let's take out some blushes. I do want to show I you, I took this one out last month. I would say this is pretty much like a brownish red color. It's really pretty. I didn't really like it on my skin tone, so I only used it once. But I do want to take out this one. And this one is in Bahamas. And this one's a really pretty, I would say peachy orange color i'm gonna take this one out and then i do want to take out both of my flower bombs this one is in pinched and this one is in nectar i usually mix these two colors together i think they make a really pretty neutral skin i have these two mac ones and this one is in gingerly it's a really pretty neutral color and this one is in peaches so they're pretty neutral in my opinion. I think I'm gonna go for gingerly. Yeah, gingerly. I just think that that would be really nice for the month of November. All right, so, so for bronzer, I have not gone shopping for bronzers. Um, At this point, I took this one out last month. I don't really like it. I think the formula is way too thick for me. I think I might try it one more time before I declutter it. But as of right now, we are leaving it in the drawer. I have this ColourPop one. And this one is in Coconut Beach. Hmm. I don't know. This one's more of a cool tone bronzer. Let's just take it out. Yeah. Let's just take it out and use it and see how we like it. If I don't like it, I will probably decolor it declutter it as well and then this one is a little bit too light for me i do need a darker one and let's just use something that i haven't used in a very very long time i did pick out this one at tg maxx but looking at it it's really like light for me i don't know why i pick this one up but it smells really good it smells like chocolates let's take out this revlon one this one's the skin lights sunlit glow 110 it's really pretty it has quite a bit of shimmer in it but i would i think that if you was to wear this with a really neutral blush i think it will be really pretty so i want to take this one out all right so onto our then, lippies let's kind of go for like a darker brown i think i did that last month as well but i don't remember which ones i took out we have pleasure i think i already have pleasure yeah this one's in pleasure by milani that's very pretty let's take out pleasure And then I have these Pat McGrath ones that I bought at TG Maxx. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's like a dark, well, I would say it's a nude color, but it kind of has a hint of brown. So I'm taking out that one too. And this one is in Nude Venus. Has a really pretty, what's it called? Design on it. So let's, let's take out her and, and then, let's do a gloss. This is Don't Be Chai. And yeah, that one's a really pretty brown nude. Okay, let's take this one out too. Okay, so, so I have, have a confession to make. I have been wearing highlighter and I have not worn that in forever. So I kind of want to get back into it because I do want to use these up and know which ones i like and which ones i don't like so we can do a declutter but just looking at here i have this milani duo and double shot and obviously it's way too dark for me 
but we can use it as a shadow. So I really wanna take this out. Let me open this and we can swatch the colors. Let's see. Yeah, it's so pretty. I can't believe I have not opened this yet. Wow, very pretty. I think that would be so pretty for just like an all over the lid color. Let's take out my Hyper Real Glow by MAC. And this one is a trio. Don't have a name for it, but it's a really pretty trio. All right guys, so Again. this is the second part of the video. We are going to do something very simple. Um, I when I went when I picked out things for the month of November, I kind of had the mindset of just picking up things that were easy to use and easy for on the go. So today we are going to do something very simple. I already did my foundation and my brows. For foundation, I am using my L'Oreal True Match in neutral light medium. And this is pretty much like a tinted foundation. Um, something that I would want for the winter time. I don't want anything too heavy. And then for the brows, I did use my NYX Professional Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso. And this one is very cheap. You can definitely find it at the drugstore. Let's do my face because I feel like my face is kind of washed out right now. Let's go into my ColourPop Coconut Beach Bronzer. And this one kind of has a slight cool tone to it. So hopefully it isn't too noticeable. And I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks. I do the um, three methods. I put it on my chin as well. Well, not my chin, but my jawline. Put it in my temples, my forehead. I love doing bronzer. I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like bronzer really does shape my face. Just putting, doing the same thing on the other side. And I do have a mirror over here, so if I keep looking over here, it's because I have a mirror. There we have the bronzer. For blush, I am going to go into my e.l.f. Putty Blush. And this one is in Bahamas. I think this one's the luminous one. Because you know they have the luminous and the matte. I think this one is the luminous. So I'm just gonna get my favorite cream and the good brush. Just gonna dab my brush in there and then I am going to put that on my cheeks. Just dabbing it. And I like to bring my blush into my temples. And it does have like a really pretty sheen or glow to it. And I really am just working it into my face. I'm putting it in the temple. Let's move on to the eyes. I am going to use my Milani Highlighter Duo in Double Shot in 140. And I am going to take the lightest shade, which is this shade right here. It doesn't have a name, but I'm just gonna use my finger. It has like, it's like um, a very bouncy like texture, like the ColourPop one. I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. As you can see, it's really uh, pigmented. I'm just gonna kind of blend that up words. On this side, I am gonna do the same process, add just a little bit more onto my finger with the shadow. 
and I'm gonna blend it up. And then I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and I am going to blend out the edges. And do the same thing to the other side. Okay. And that is it. That is the eyeshadow look. Very simple and easy. I am going to do my mascaras. I have three in front of me. I am going to put on the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Base, and this is a primer. Next, I am going to do the Maybelline Falsy Surreal. And then on top of that, I am going to use the Maybelline New York Sky High Foundation. I mean, not foundation, but mascara. And then I am just going to speed this up. So the reason why I do my Maybelline Surreal Falsies first is because this gives me the volume that I need and then the Sky High gives me the length that I want. So um, that's why I, that's the order that I go with. All right, and then to finish off the face, I am going to go into my MAC blush. This is in Gingerly. I'm gonna take a little bit and then just slightly kind of dust it on my cheek. Just a little bit, not too much. Just to kind of set the um, blush from earlier. The lips, we are going to go into NYX Lip Pencil in Natural. I like to overline my lips. So I'm just gonna kinda overline it. Just not a lot, I don't look good with too much of an overline. Just like that. And then I am going to use the Pat McGrath lipstick in Nude Venus. And it's a really pretty brown nude. All right, so we are going to put on this Superstate Matte Ink. And this is a liquid lip. And I just want to try on um, camera on top of my new lip. Maybe it might not wash me out just as much as the nude. I just kind of put a little bit. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. If you guys stayed until the end, I just want to say thank you. As you can see, it was a very simple, easy look. So effortlessly so done. You just have like a favorite cream eyeshadow or maybe a favorite eyeshadow just put that all over your lid and use your favorite mascara bronzer and blush and then you are good to go so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one bye